As news broke the teens' bodies were found, there was anger and sadness. This morning, Israel is a small country grieving as a big family. You feel like these boys were your sons? Of course. They're 16 years old, two of them. Everyone would feel that, yeah. Israel now vowing revenge against Hamas, the Palestinian militant group it says is behind the murder of the three Israeli teenagers, including Naftali Frankel, 16 years old, who was also an American citizen. Israel's prime minister said they were abducted and murdered in cold blood by human animals. Hamas has denied having anything to do with their deaths, but is paying a steep price with more than 200 of its members now arrested by Israel, part of a huge operation we saw firsthand as soldiers combed the West Bank for clues, holding out hope. We they, will they, find them. You will find them. As the crackdown grew, so did the waves of rockets launched by Palestinian militants in the Gaza Strip into Israel. Israel responding with precision airstrikes, here, killing two men they said were behind rocket attacks, raising fears this will descend into all-out war. We're not striving for that, and absolutely we don't want to go into any substantial conflict with Hamas and Gaza. Um, ultimately, what we're out to do is protect Israeli lives. But Israel's government is very much divided on the path forward, many demanding a much harsher response for the murders of these three teens who are being laid to rest today together. Alex Marquardt, ABC News, Jerusalem.